Yeah, this water bottle right now is charging. I'll tell you more about it in just a second. So inside of here are a bunch of HomeKit products from Eve because today I wanted to do a bunch of automations that I've been wanting to do around the Lemon Home. There's some rooms at the at the Lemon Home that aren't fully HomeKit. So we're gonna be doing some awesome stuff. Plus, look what else we got. But sadly, I don't have time now because I gotta go to my driving lessons classes theory. Sadly. <laughs> packages in the mail while I was gone and I think you're gonna like this one a lot. The new Pride Edition Apple Watch band. What do you think about it? Is it ugly? I kind of like it. I think it's fun. I think it's different. It's not my favorite that Apple has done. I feel like last year's was my favorite but you've even got a matching watch piece to go to go with it which is pretty cool. And then this is also super exciting because I'm super excited to announce that I'm part of the Beats family now. Oh, this is sick. They just sent me the new Beat Studio Buds Plus. Can't wait to check these out. According to, to the reviews, people are saying that it's, that it's even better than the AirPods Pro. Meet the new Beat Studio Plus. You're one of the first to receive a pair. These are all the previous Pride Edition Apple Watch bands um, that I own, but this one's kind of sick. I'm actually gonna be filming an unboxing now. Been a while since I haven't seen earphones these this cool. Really can't wait to actually listen to these guys. There's a lot of people that surprisingly don't know this, but in an actual Apple Watch band box, you got this code and if you actually scan it, see you simply scan it, Pride Confetti. See? I kind of like it and I love supporting Pride every single year. Once again, I say this every single year and I always get hate for it, but you don't have to be gay, you don't have to be lesbian, you don't have to be whatever you want in order to support Pride. You know, there's so many people out there that are so scared on telling society how they really feel like. It's just awful. I am so hungry right now. I wanna go out to eat because we have, we've been working at home all week. I just feel like I wanna, wanna get out. So I just got a text message saying that I've got a package um, at a UPS pickup point. I think I know what it is and if it is what I think it is. I don't know why whenever I vlog, it's just so many packages that I come. I promise it's not like this. I promise it's not like this every day. We haven't chosen the best weather to go out on our little date. Feels like it's about to rain. It is about to rain. It's good one, it's the eye. No, no. Haven't told you, but we're actually going to see Coldplay this Sunday. And we're like so, so excited uh, for it. Coldplay actually plays like four times in Barcelona, I believe. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We'll be going on Sunday, and everybody says that it's like absolutely crazy and beautiful, and Jenny just cried watching a yeah. TikTok about it. <laughs> That's how you know it's gonna be really good. Of course, we didn't bring an umbrella knowing it was going to rain, very smart of us. Okay, the weather will not stop me to show you what Lark actually is. And I've been using it for the past month, and I gotta say, this guy has impressed me so much. So it's a smart water bottle, right? It's 
got micro USB to charge it. Yes, you charge the water bottle. You don't gotta charge it a lot though. And it self cleans. Let's be honest, we all have water bottles at home, but how often do you actually clean them? Be honest, not a lot. And it's not easy to clean. I mean, if you put your hand inside, it's not easy to clean a water bottle. That's why they've made this smart cap. It emits this light that basically self cleans it. Apart from self cleaning, you've also, if you put cold water, it will last a lot, a lot of hours. And the same thing goes to warm water. It will last a bunch of hours. So if you're traveling or if you always carry a water bottle around and, yo, oh, you know, I clean my water bottle. No, you don't. You don't clean water bottles the way that you're supposed to do. You gotta clean them every six to eight hours in terms of germs. And with Lark, you just don't really, you can't forget about cleaning it. It just automatically cleans itself. So if you're interested in the Lark, links in the description. Lark, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. I know this is sponsored, but I've actually been using it for the past month, so I love this thing. Okay, yes, officially out of all the days that we could have chosen to, to go on a date, today was really not the day. It hasn't rained like this in like quite a while. Got my camera hidden over here. Worst day to vlog, worst day to go on a date. Worst day ever. <laughs> Had such great weather this week and today ah, and now it's cold that I'm wet we're gonna get some quick warm coffee because I'm like freezing right now got to do a little bit of work wow you know it's a good day today when Che is gonna make us the apple coffee the same one from Apple Park well kind of the same Dismissing the hard work, they calling the talent And I find that disrespectful cause I put on the mileage Up for the sh but I'm down for the challenge Step off the scene just to find me a balance uh. These niggas don't want it to get it cause when it got hard them niggas I quit it, it so much hustle dog She's the superstar who's behind all this art Apple logo Well, apart from awesome coffee and they made me the apple coffee we found logan which I've, I've met before he uses his ipad for i use it for illustration and you use procreate right? i do use procreate yes. and your apple pencil and my apple pencil yeah. all day yeah he actually does some amazing illustrations if you guys want to check it out links in the description i could sit around and wait all day I just edited uh, the unboxing of the Pride Band on Final Cut Pro on the iPad in a coffee shop and it feels so good to edit on this thing. Okay, I'm on my way to the store where they supposedly have the, the package that here's a tiny sneak peek. It is more home kit stuff that we need, but it's a brand new product that I'm sure you're gonna love. Cogs are so wet right now, my shoes. Okay, and another package. So it's another package from Eve. This time it's the Eve Flare. This is gonna look so sick in Shenia's studio. It's gonna set the vibe so incredibly much there. All right, we got a lot of work to do. The first thing that I wanna do is sensors. You see, there's a light here, right? And here, here's where I have all of my clothes. All of my clothes. Shenia's clothes, my clothes. And here's what I wanna do. I want this to happen. Whenever I open the door, these lights would automatically go on because these lights, we only turn it on whenever we are picking up our outfit of the day. 
So that's why this exists. This is the Eve door and window sensor. So the deal is I'm gonna put a sensor in each door so that whenever these doors open, these lights will turn on. All right, on to the second dresser. All right, let's see if it actually works. Supposedly, if I open this door, these lights will turn on. Ready? Three, two, one. And it works! It works! This thing is awesome! All right, um, it's time for my studio. Um, first off, the cable management here gives me anxiety just looking at it. It's horrible, I know, but I wanted to do this first. What I want to do is make these guys HomeKit compatible. So whenever I want to film, I simply say Siri, turn on YouTube lights or Siri, I'm about to film. We're gonna do that with the Eve Energy Strip. Tell me a better looking energy strip than this. Okay, ready? This is work in progress. This is main YouTube light and secondary YouTube light. Voila! All HomeKit enabled. We still got work to go because I still want to make this and I want to make an automation that all of them will turn on. Alright, and for this light here in the back, um, I'm simply going to do an Eve Energy. I'm simply going to connect the smart plug to this, so then I'm going to group all of those. Siri, turn on the back light. And there it is. Wow, call that a workout. Check out the activity ring. Turn on YouTube lights. Wait, these take a while to open. And there you go. I've been wanting to do this for such a long time and it feels so good to see it in person. All right, so here's the next step in my studio. Always when I'm coming in my studio, I'm either with like, you know, grabbing tripods and getting like my lights ready and everything. So here's what I want to do. Sometimes, you know, I'm, I'm literally like holding a bunch of stuff and I'm like tapping to turn on the lights, like my normal lights, not my filming lights. So I want to add this. This is the next step. All right, ready? The light should automatically turn on as soon as I walk in. Ready? I'm gonna walk in. Ready? Boom! The sensor detected me, so the lights turn on. And then whenever I go out of my room, I can just simply tap this. All right, it's time for Xenia's studio right now, and it's the last HomeKit edition that we will be doing to the London home today. And the coolest thing about the E-Flare is, look at this, it's battery powered, so I can simply lift it up and it's got this handle right here, so I can just simply take it around, take it out of the garden, put it out, put it in the room, and then charge it. 